All right, guys, so I'm just going to give you a quick basic overview of how Southern Israelite being a honeypot works. So Southern Israelite's platform is designed to be a undoing of Christian values. It is meant to basically ruin your credibility. It's meant to take hungry, theologically prone Christians who are basically prepared for a high level of truth. It's people who are searching for a particular brand of Christian reality. And you're going to stumble across Southern Israelites platform where you are taught that Christians should swear and treat your enemies like garbage when everybody knows that Jesus said to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's the golden rule. The golden rule of the Gospels is to treat others as you would like to be treated. Um, Southern Israelite also gets you to denounce Christianity. I mean, I'm talking about how ridiculous it is for him to call himself a Protestant. He has a book that's claiming to refute Christianity. He's claiming to refute Christianity. So on one hand, he'll say he's a Protestant, but he doesn't believe in the Trinity. And then the title of all of his argu of his essays is Christianity refuted this and Christianity destroyed that. He claims to be destroying the Christian religion. I don't know if you asked Samuel Rutherford if he was a Christian or not. What do you think he'd say? You think Samuel Rutherford believed in the Trinity? You think Samuel Rutherford considered himself a Christian? So he gets you to denounce Christianity. He gets you to completely invert Christian values, which is to be nice to people. Yes, Jesus told you to be nice to people. It's the golden rule. Jesus really did say that. But above all, the most important of commandments is to treat others the way that you wanted to be treated and to love your enemies. And the way that theology works is that's it. Discussion over. Nothing in the Bible contradicts other parts of the Bible. So that's it. Jesus said to love your enemies. Jesus said to treat others the way you want to be treated. Boom! Put a cap in it. So this shit that Southern Israelite teaches about swearing, the swearing Christian, and to, you know, betray and take advantage of your enemies, it's all about cherry-picking the Old Testament and not acknowledging the new covenant of Christ. So just to quickly recap... He gets you to act like a buffoon. He suggests that you should act like a buffoon and bang a bunch of hookers. He says that being a Christian, oh, I'm sorry, not a Christian because he's trying to destroy Christianity. He sets out to destroy Christianity, but he's a Protestant who doesn't believe in the Trinity. And he's teaching you that as a Protestant who sets out to destroy Christianity and doesn't believe in the Trinity, whatever the fuck that means, you need to be an asshole and swear a lot and treat your enemies like garbage, even though Christ said to treat others as you would like to be treated and to love your enemies. There's no refuting that. I don't care what kind of a big article he tries to drag up. You listen to what Christ said. It was meant to be simple. It was meant to be understood. So... You know, I haven't put any thought into this video. I could spend time trying to, like, make more points, but, I mean, that's pretty good right there. He says he wants to destroy Christianity as a Protestant, apparently, who doesn't believe in the Trinity. He's teaching Christians to swear and be assholes and bang a lot of prostitutes, see what Paul says about sexuality. I mean, all, everything in the New Testament is really just... He's basically teaching, like... Judaism combined with Jehovah's Witness and it's just all Judaizing and cherry-picking the Old Testament and basically ignoring everything Jesus said. There's no getting around it. Jesus said to treat others the way you want to be treated. Boom. End of discussion. There's no refuting that. Those are the words of Christ. Jesus said to love your enemies. Boom. No getting around that. No refuting that. Um, would, would Samuel Rutherford consider himself a Protestant? Christian. Yes. Would he... Would he believe in the Trinity? Yes. Everybody knows this. Um, 
I was a part of Southern Israelites Discord. You had to pay to get in this Discord. Now I know he's asking for people's private information. He probably wants a picture of your ID now. It's all about IDing possible dissonance. It's taking dissonance, potential dissonance, taking you under his wing, giving you a few key truths. The truth that his platform contains is the anti-establishment truth. The anti-establishment, including corruption in the Jesuits and the CIA, Freemasons, and the revolutionary corrupt history that led to democracy and the scientific scientism lies that illuminate, you know, academia and our modern world. He teaches you truth about the establishment, but then he waters it down with this weird backwards inverted protestants who destroy christianity which is really kind of awkward and like funny and ironic when you kind of voice it that way because yeah as he just laughed about in a recent video i'm starting to side with catholics and so yeah protestants who set out to destroy christianity i think some spooks had a laugh about that when they like came up with that behind the scenes but anyway um i know this video is getting repetitive uh, this guy is a criminal. He's a crook. He's living off of like five people. I could just go on and on guys He says you have to work 60 hours a week to talk to him, but he doesn't work He talks about the derelict, but there's videos of him whining and going on tirades about how you need to follow him because he's so Persecuted and a victim. I mean for everything he says he contradicts it. He's trying to destroy Christianity, but he's a Protestant He's a Protestant, but he doesn't believe in the Trinity. You have to work 60 hours a week, but he doesn't work at all Everything he says is just it's the way that cults work. It's how cults work. It's just complete Nonsense where once you take a couple of bites of his horse shit. It just seems like you love eating horse shit That's how cults work. It takes in these people who are searching for an easy, accessible truth, and he gives you some of the truth, so you start to assume that everything he teaches is the truth. I would say, guys, that you should try to go to a regular church. I'm not gonna debate th um, theology with you. I think you should go to a regular church. If you are in a room with five guys who are not associated with anyone, if they've completely isolated themselves and they're talking about making a new nation, that sounds like Waco, dude. That sounds like you getting lit up by feds. If you can, and I know a lot of people are too far gone, go to a regular church. If you want it to be Protestant, fine. If you want it to be Catholic or Orthodox, fine. Try to go to a regular church and meet regular ass people and maybe get some connections and maybe meet potential wives. I'm telling you to go to a regular ass church. And if I go to mass, it's because I want to go to a regular ass church where there's regular ass people, bro. It's very simple. I know it's not very intellectual, but as far as uh, Southern Israelites platform, yeah, I would never give that guy any personal information about yourself. I would definitely never give him money um, for him telling you to be, to swear and be an asshole and treat people like garbage. I would look at what Jesus Christ, the son of God said. I think it's pretty important to read the New Testament. It seems like, just reading through the New Testament should probably undo every LARP that Southern Israelite taught you. Um, I'm not setting out to destroy Christianity like he is. I'm actually trying to expand and heal it as much as I can. I'm, I'm out here trying to teach Christians how to be better. And I, I'd say you could learn a lot by going to a seminary. You could go a lot by talking to a Catholic priest or an Orthodox priest or, you know... With, when it comes to Protestant denominations, there's definitely, there's a lot of intelligent Christians in the regular world is what I'm trying to say, you guys. The idea that you have to be isolated, locked away in a discord with 10 people and Southern Israelite, it's a cult, okay? It looks like a cult. Southern Israelite acts like a cult leader. It's exactly what it looks like. It's a cult. And I got to tell you, man, if you're a part of it, you're in a bad place. I was in a bad place when I was a part of it. And I was very fresh to Christianity. I had just left the occult. And considering that I knew some Neoplatonists and Gnostics, and I knew about Neoplatonism and Gnosticism, I was very susceptible to what he was teaching. But um, I'll just leave you by saying that there are a lot of highly intelligent theologians out there and when you start coming when you start coming into the truth you're probably going to have a position in orthodoxy 
or Catholicism or, you know, maybe you'll have some sort of a Protestant view. It's going to be more mainstream than you think if you're with Southern Israelite. If you think that the truth looks like six people in a discord, you need to understand what cults are and you need to step back and take a deep breath. And it all starts by saying, paying this guy $50 a month is not how I'm going to learn the truth. It's not how I'm going to get saved. There's no shortcut. When you look for a shortcut, you get indoctrinated by a cult leader charlatan like Drake Shelton. That's exactly what he is. And uh, I'm sorry, Drake. I can't allow you to destroy Christianity. Your goal is to destroy the Christian religion. And I look at, you know, my family and their tradition within the Catholic Church. And I even have family tracing back to John Adams. So I have family in both Protestants and the Catholic Church. And uh, I can't allow you to destroy Christianity, Drake. And it's really ballsy that you're actually out there fully admitting that's what you want to do. It's hidden in plain sight, you guys. When you're listening to Southern Israelites spiel, he talks about how the Christian religion is a failure and how he's going to destroy the Christian religion. I'm here showing you my face with these weird, like, whatever these red marks are. I think it's like, what's it called when your skin's all dry? Whatever. I'm here saying this face to face. The guy's a charlatan. The guy's bad news. Maybe I sound angry. Maybe it looks a little desperate. I came out with these last few videos. The guy will take your fucking money and put you on a watch list. And you, if you ever do what I did, which is like get on your own two feet as an intellectual and create your own platform and make the proper adjustments, I've taken the good parts of Southern Israelites platform, which is just being anti-establishment. You be a trad calf who is like following someone like Archbishop Vigano, and then you're anti-establishment, dude, you are woke. You are woke, bro. I can feel your force. If you said, I'm a trad cath and I'm anti-establishment. Anti Whoa! That's powerful. I'm orthodox and I'm anti-establishment. And I, I don't believe in scientism. That's what you need to be woke, guys. This guy's telling you to like, real messianic protestants who are destroying christianity sleep with hookers and swear at people and treat people like garbage it's a honeypot it's an inversion of christianity run for the hills for a more sophisticated destruction go to rick perry's instagram uh bat Colel, i believe i'll i'll type it in the, in the um description oh now he goes by like freighter vagans or something anyway it's time to wrap it up you guys